What up my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine and today we are doing an unboxing. An unboxing for you and all your friends too. This is the Phantom Drive's Xbox One storage hub. I just got this in the mail just a couple hours ago and I knew it was coming. So I, I, I knew this was, was going to be part of the whole thing. So this is it right here. It's the Xbox One uh, storage hub. Uh, USB 3.0 and a hard drive upgrade. It's actually got a two terabyte hard drive in there, which is pretty cool. And uh, it's got a three port USB hub, so you can use this uh, for whatever you need uh, for your uh, for your Xbox. And it's also USB. I'm wondering if I could actually hook it up to my USB drive on my computer and use it that way. We'll, we'll give that a test too. So anyway, it's all part of this, but look, before we go uh, any further, I want to just talk a little bit about Geekazine. Uh, Geekazine.com, where you can go. As you can see, we got a brand new design on Geekazine. So we're here, and you can find us on the latest uh, latest places. Like, for instance, we're on Twitch over at twitch.tv forward slash Geekazine. Go ahead and sign up and get your uh, sign up for rocks. 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 How's that work? You basically... All you have to do is sign up and do do things like tweet about it. And next thing you know, you've signed up for rocks. So that's pretty cool. Of course, over on YouTube, you'll see the Geekazine live symbol right there. And you'll click on it and it says it's live now. There we are. That's pretty cool. Of course, over. And of course, it'll 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. This is the Phantom Drives Xbox One uh, edition. It's a USB. It's 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 basically a hub. And it gives you uh, some USB drives, uh, and uh, it, it's, uh, so you can basically attach it to your Xbox One, uh, One S, One X, I believe. Also, um, I have the old-fashioned one. I'm an old-fashioned kind of guy, and we've got it right here. Here's my Xbox One. Of course, we've got the drive up here, which we're going to be unboxing in a minute, and uh, we'll have a little bit of fun on that. So let's do it. Let's 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 get this going. So let's uh, switch it over here. We've got the Xbox One hub. I'm going to move my controller out of the way. And as you can see, it says uh, 2,000 gigabyte, around 2 terabytes. Uh, we'll find out in a second here. Easy snap-on, plug-and-play, hard drive upgrade for your Xbox One. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. And I've also got some uh, USB storage. I got a nice, uh, our friends at Kingston uh, sent me a couple of uh, drives. So this is a 250 drive, if I remember correctly. So uh, we're going to be using that as well. So let's open it up. I don't know what type of hard drive is inside here. They don't really talk about it too much. So maybe, maybe in the documentation we'll get some more information. But anyway, let's close this up. So we have the Phantom Drives by Micronet. Um, we've got the instructions, so it says, uh, turn off the console, place your Xbox vertically, and line up the USB attachment, uh, then snap the Xbox One storage in, into place, turn on the Xbox One, the console will detect, and the unit will display Phantom Drive's external storage ready. So, I'll show you that in a minute here. And a quick one minute, uh, explanation here. Um, installation guide, look... So, let's continue on here. We got foam. Lots of foam. Look at that. Foamy, foamy, foam, foam. So, got foam there, and we'll just pull this straight out. This is the device right here. Two terabyte drive. It's got the USB port right there. And I guess some locking in here. Let's, uh, we can open this up. Oh, look at that. It's a Seagate drive. Barracuda. It's a regular, looks like a regular, uh, uh, spinning drive not an ssd but i'm guessing you could probably switch that out with an ssd you got to take out the screws and that so that's pretty cool you can upgrade it later let's take this plastic off by the way that's pretty much it for the unbox there's more foam in there but that's nothing else to talk about let's uh let's get this on the xbox and go from there so this is this is the device as you can see once again um pretty straightforward and that's what we're going to put onto the xbox so first thing they said was to turn off your xbox so i'm going to turn off my xbox take my controller and turn it on its side like it says 
And I guess there's a way to take this off. And it says to attack from this side. So I'm going to do that. Bring this up. There we go. Look at that. Take this off. I just popped this off. Now it says... Okay, it says to take that and put that into the uh, drive. Uh, into the, the hub like that. So I've got this on, so let's switch back to the main shot. And then uh, we're just going to put it right back into place from there. There we go. And in the front, let's see if I can turn this, you'll see right there. And I think that it says that it's connected. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set this back down. So let's turn it on. Oh, it's turning itself on. Sweet. Cause I had a, I had a game in there. <laughs> Hi Jeffrey, hello. Let's just look at some instructions here. Turn on the console, it'll, okay. It'll detect it, so. If you get a message that says, try another USB port or cable, um, then you go from there. So managing storage and my games and apps. There we go, my games and apps. There we go, all storage. We have internal and we have phantom drives. So let's go to phantom drives. And we've got absolutely nothing in there. So as you, we can actually put, uh, we can put stuff on there. So I don't know if we can copy anything. We've got that. So now we've got storage. It says Phantom Drives. Let's let's do this. We'll move forward here because, whoops, wrong one. Let's do that. We'll move forward here because we can see that it's in, but I want to see more storage get added. So I'm going to take this Kingston USB. Let's, let's show you the front, by the way. Here it is over here. And there's this light and then three USB devices. I'll go back into storage. I want to see this as it goes. So now we've got the Phantom Drive. I'm going to take my Kingston. This is my uh, USB drive. I'm just going to plug it into port one. Just like that. And there's no lights on this, so I'll have to just... Uh... Oh, here we go. Media storage ready. Hold the X to launch. So I'm guessing I've got to put some media onto this drive. It's not going to use it as a storage drive, additional storage drive, unless I put it into the uh, Phantom. So that's pretty cool, though. And I know I have a keyboard down here. Let's see if it accepts the keyboard. And I have a USB headset somewhere around here. Um, you well, know, the keyboard's lit up, and I'm using the key. This is I'm using the keyboard now to uh, go between my pages here. Pretty cool. And that's I'm just using the keyboard right there. So uh, now I can hook up drives. So this drive will have to most likely be a media drive, music and, and, and videos and stuff like that. Um, so I can watch movies, you know, that I've had for years or videos from Geekazine or whatever. Uh, hook up the keyboard and, and most likely a mouse and, and then use it that way uh, for different things. But uh, also with two terabytes worth of storage, that's pretty cool. So. That's over at Phantom Drives. So you see the price right there, 119. But if you go over to Amazon, these prices will change. They will change. They will change. But right now, $104. I'll have the link down in the show notes where you can get that and uh, and go from there. So that is the installation. It takes a couple minutes to do of the Phantom Drive uh, the Xbox One storage hub. So. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me over at Geekazine. Of course, Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, uh, let's see, Twitter.com forward slash. Just look up Geekazine. You'll find me in the search. So, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. This has been a, a very special unboxing of the uh, Phantom Drives 
two terabytes uh, Xbox One storage hub and uh, pretty easy to install as you saw. So thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, you guys geek out. Remember, go over to Geekazine Live and check everything out from there. And uh, take care.